longer hours because what you're doing is so important to the community. I want to congratulate the organizers of this event who year after year tirelessly and tiredly put this thing together. And I just hope you have a wonderful day being community partners. Have fun. Be safe. from Abington High School. I did sixth grade, and so far every year since then, except for last year. Uh, yeah, and every year it's like the same, but it's always really fun. I'm trying to switch to number one so I can race the first first mile. So it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so much fun. also helps with that. We're still working on it <laughs> as we speak. Usually the shelf life of these programs are four, five, six years. In Abington, we're very, it's extraordinary that we're still going after 19 years. Amazing. So it's a credit to the school district, police department. Jack Murphy, the coordinator, actually has been here probably at every single one. I've been at every one. So this is only my second and Jack's 19th. So he basically pulls this whole thing together. He's the glue that holds it together. There, there is no one person. <laughs> There's plenty of people to thank. We have a whole committee, a planning committee, that each one does their job. As long as nobody lets anything fall through the cracks, this thing happens uh, with ease. basic stuff is still the same every year. The teams, the runner, the food tent, everything. Uh, some things are added through the years, like, like now we have the uh, Abington Fire Department comes and, and does a, a huge demonstration for the, uh, for the kids. Um, sometimes our sponsors change, but basically the, uh, the, the event is the same year after year. What is the craziest thing you've ever seen? Some guy last year put on a Bob mattress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy was him, by the way. Oh. What is the craziest thing that you've seen at the Story Friday? Well, this one kid runs around his feet out. <laughs> it's fun. It's with friends. I get to hang out, chill for a weekend because I have no other social life on weekends. So, the past, I think, three years, my team's come second. And we still want to win here. So I actually have to run. Joy. I'm so tired. I ran first. I stopped at least four times. Yeah, great! Run, run, run! Thank you. 
Call to everybody. We have 65 teams. They've endured a lot of rain. Uh, fortunately, no lightning. However, it's been nasty, damp, dreary. So some people have left, but we're going to go uh, wake everybody else up. We'll see how that's going to go. That's right. It's a, uh, a rough night. It's good to see. There's about a thousand people out of our township that participate in this, this year at least, and uh, they've made a, a good amount of money for programs for the next year. So it stays in the community, it's good for youth in the community, it helps youth see the police in a different light. The young students, when, they, when they're coming up through the ranks, you guys know, being students in, in Abington School District, it's something they really look forward to every year. I think all you have to do is look around and see, see what goes on here, and why wouldn't you want to be a part of this? I think the impact on the community, it builds a stronger relationship between the community, the police department, the school district, parents, and students together. 